uh, we're in uh, Wiltshire um, at the moment we've got a like a woodland restoration uh, project going on here where they had to strip out all of the like the ash dieback and a lot of other fallen trees so now a bit block of woodland hasn't really been uh, managed for well for quite a number of years so it's was completely overgrown and it's been taken over by this um, charitable organization that wants to sort of plant a low more trees in the areas that'll get more trees going um, unfortunately it's uh, like I say just coming towards the start of well, start of autumn end of summer so a lot of the covers really really high so seeing muntjac in this is going to be quite tricky um, but Alex hasn't uh, seen a muntjac uh, before so uh, quite looking forward to getting one and um, yeah quite looking forward to you seeing them as well they do move around a hell of a lot so um, they can be quite challenging to shoot, but like I said, hopefully we'll uh, get you to see one. Now, spoiler alert, unfortunately we didn't manage to find a muntjac, but I didn't want to waste this footage and I thought it was really good to show people the different terrain that we end up going out in. You see it's bloody thick in here. There's um, really high vegetation at the moment, like I say, it's still quite early in the season for it. Munchak love these little rides, so you very often see them pottering along in here, but they've only got to go a couple of metres to the left or right in there in the thick stuff. There are some little windows in the foliage around here where you can hopefully shoot from, but at the moment, just while the uh, light's still good in the wood, we're having a little creep slow creep along here and uh, hopefully catch one. Uh, the wind's in our face ever so gently, so it's looking good, but like I say, they're so difficult to see in this, it's, it's, uh, it's crazy. You can see just how thick the vegetation is. Although we had the thermal sights, etc., I didn't know how Matt would even take a shot in something like this. But we carried on looking nonetheless and stayed positive. We came to this opening in the top of a field, and I think I was half hoping that we would just sort of see one there, but no luck. So we carried on walking down some pretty steep, precarious paths, shall we say. I honestly thought I was going to fall at this point. We're going to do a video on foot placement and how to walk quietly as I kept alerting Matt to my presence. Every time we came to a location like this, I was sure that we were going to see one. But again, no such luck, and the light was starting to drop now. What we're going to do, we're just going to go and stand up here on the high ground. Um, so we can look down on that little uh, bank there, and look along here at the same time. I don't think there's any point pushing along there, because the wind's puffing that way, and it's, uh, it's not going to do us any favour. So we'll just stand there and cross our fingers or something pops out. So we've split up now, and I'm going to take one end. It was just a case of scouring the hedgerows with the thermals, but still nothing. Now Matt called me over because he did see a monk jack, but by the time I'd got there, it was gone. The shot couldn't be taken. And so we just waited and waited again. And it just proves that because these are wild animals, you're not guaranteed to get what you want. So I hope you've enjoyed this short video. Hopefully we'll get one again soon.